Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, so I'm working on the shade that goes over our door, our main door, how we get into the RV. And let me show you this old shade that we've got um, that no longer works. I mean, it's one of those old roller shades, so it doesn't roll up and down anymore. The spring is gone and we're not replacing it. So I'm doing something a little different. Let me show you the shade. So this is the roller shade, the old one. And it did, when we first bought, when we first bought the Grand Villa, the thing worked, you know? But as you can see, it's an old, old time roller shade. It's, you're supposed to pull it and then it's supposed to, you know, roll up and down. The little roller up in there. Uh, has a spring and the spring no longer works so uh, we are out of luck on that here it is right here this is the roller piece so instead of buying another one of these and it you know it goes all the way from you know it's way above where the actual window itself starts the window starts here you know and this thing is all the way goes all the way over a portion you know i might want to put something up here and i can't because the shade would be covering it and you know we roll this down at night and we roll it back up during the day so what i'm doing instead is i am creating a blackout piece with foam board and a piece of blackout cloth that I got at Walmart from the fabric uh, portion of their store. I bought some, they, they sell blackout cloth so that if you want to DIY your own window shades, um, you can. And so I'm making it so that the foam board will fit right inside of the window. Uh, I'm hoping that <laughs> That it does fit perfectly and we'll see so let me show you some of my supplies here as you can see yeah you can see right here where the window starts and stops but i've got a big you know piece of uh my wall here above the door that i could be doing something with it but i'm not so and there's i'm just going to create a blackout piece to go inside is going to fit inside that window right there. So here is what I have. Of course, I got tissue paper that I traced. I taped it up there on the door and I traced the window. And this is the foam, the piece of foam board, you know, just crafts, arts and crafts section of the store. You get the foam board. Your, your tracing paper, your tissue paper. Um, they actually, the tissue paper that they had was not lo as long as my window, so I had to tape two pieces of it together to make it long enough, you know, and then traced out the door with a marker, or the window, I'm sorry, with the marker, so that it'll fit inside. Also what I have is I have the, uh, the iron-on hem tape, because that's what you're going to use for the cloth. And <laughs> you guys would not believe this little... So we gave up our iron. We had an iron. You know, we had our sticks and bricks. We had our home. I bought this little bitty iron. Look at this little thing. It fits into my hand. That's how small it is. It's a really small iron. It's a steam iron. You know, um, steam fast is what it's called. I guess people use it when they're, uh, you know, making clothes or whatever and here's the little water thing for your steam so that I can iron on the hem tape and then this is the blackout cloth here that I bought and it actually is blackout it doesn't you know you can't see through it um, but the way it'll go over the foam board anyway you won't be able to see through it anyway so um, and you can do this it's a, it's a DIY project you can do at home so I will work on this and I'm going to show you the finished product.
So whatever that knife I was using, no. You need one of these. You need the little blades, you know. And then you just cut it around. I did a much better job with this than I did that other little knife that I was using. I couldn't find this. Um, but um, <laughs> it was in the car. Oh, well. So anyway, we have our piece of foam board here. And uh, it's all cut and ready. So the next thing that we will do is we're going to uh, take the fabric and cut it around the foam board. And then I'm going to use the iron-on hem tape to hem it. So you do want to wrap it around this. And I want to wrap it around it in such a way that um, either way I put it in that window in the door that it'll be okay. Um, I won't have to use one side or the other. I can use either side, which will make it more versatile um, to use either side. So here we go. Big piece of uh, fabric. I'm going to be able to make more than one of these. You see how I'm going to take it all the way down here. Um, little pieces of foam coming off. As you can see, you don't have to be an arts and crafts kind of person. And I am not. As you can see, I am really not an arts and crafts person. I'm just a... Not, a, not that kind of, I don't do this kind of thing, so. Um, and I'll be able to cut this fabric up to the point where I want it. All right, y'all. Foam board is in here. Look at that. Got the black cloth. And now I'll be able to use the hem tape that I got right here. And it's iron-on hem tape. Remember with my little bitty iron, I got this thing. I think it was like 15 bucks at Walmart. Fifteen dollars. Nice. <laughs> now talk about a space-saving iron, and we'll see if it really works. Um, it says it's a steam iron, so uh, see if it gets real hot and plug it in and see. All right, so check out this iron, y'all. Steam. Look at that. It works. hard to hold the camera and iron at the same time. That's a new one for me. Look at that. I mean for 15 bucks, you know. It's not like I'm starching some jeans or anything, but you know, it does the little job that I want it to do. And it'll probably iron these hems on with that iron-on tape really well. So I'll finish ironing this and uh, then we'll get the iron-on tape on. All right. Okay, I got part of it done already up under here. And here's the hem-on tape here and I'm just gonna fold this over like this and I'm gonna iron it. 
see if I can do it with one hand and show you. But let's see if I can. Here it goes. There we go. So here's what I did. This part is on there. Not going anywhere. Next, I gotta do the ends. As you can see, I folded this part over. So, and at the end of this, we're gonna fit that, fit this little piece of foam board with the black fabric over my window and the door. And we'll see if it fits, but let's finish this first. I'll show you when I've all done. So here is the piece of foam board. See how I got it all nice and snug and tight in here. Folded the edges. I even put some like in between here and there. You know, just everywhere I I could fit the tape and ironed it on. This little iron did the job perfectly. It's a nice little steam iron, $15. All right, y'all ready? I'm gonna show you that this thing fits very snug into the window. So here's our window. Here's this thing and as you can see, I can I can put it on this side, but I can put it on the other side as well. It doesn't matter. And look at that. Fits in the door. Fits in the window. Look at that. And I can close the... screen onto it and we have a blacked out window. Let me close the door. And now you can see look at that. It's black y'all. You can't see nothing. Nobody will be peeping into our window at night through that silly little roller shade. Fits. does exactly what I want it to do. Snug in here. Look at that. <laughs> and there you have it. DIY window shade no sewing required. You're welcome. <laughs>